Hey guys, it's Aaron over BHA here bringing you a new video. Some people have been asking for it, so I thought I'd throw a video out there on how to kind of set it up and use it, and that is Docker Compose. It's basically just another way that you can install Docker containers. Similar to what you would do with a Docker run commands, but you can build out everything in a YAML file uh, for each of your containers and kind of manage it using uh, Docker Compose commands. Overall, as far as installing Docker containers uh, from the CLI, Docker Compose is probably even an easier way to do that and easier to keep up with since everything is stored in a YAML file. So a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. Uh, for starters, of course, we're just going to install Docker Compose. Uh, once we do that, we will create a Docker Compose uh, YAML file and use that to um, install Portainer as our first Docker container. Uh, next, once we've installed Portainer, we're going to go ahead and add just one more Docker container to our uh, Docker Compose YAML file, and that is Home Assistant. And lastly, of course, we'll just kind of show you what Home Assistant looks like and show you that it is running once we installed it with Docker Compose. So let's get started. All right, for starters, we're going to install Docker Compose. Uh, we do that using a curl command, and I'll put this in the description below so you can just copy and paste it. All right, so we will do a sudo curl l, uh, and then of course the path to uh, the Docker Compose install. It's a fairly long command. Uh, I'm not gonna just kind of read this whole thing off. Basically, once we get that downloaded, then we need to uh, do a chmod on that. So we'll do a sudo chmod plus x slash user slash local slash bin slash docker dash compose. And then, of course, we can run that command docker dash compose dash dash version. And if everything went correctly, it should show us a version number. As you see here. Once all that's done, we're ready to move on to the next step. All right, so here we are at the command line again, and we are going to uh, create our Docker Compose at YAML file that we're gonna to use to install all of our Docker containers with. So I'm gonna create a, a, a directory here inside my home directory, and we're just gonna call it docker-compose. So I'll do a mkdir docker-compose, and then I'm gonna move into that directory. And then from here, I'm gonna just create a YAML file. We're gonna say uh, vi docker-compose.yml. All right, so uh, it's a new file here. So let's uh, start by saying what version we're gonna be using of Docker Compose. So we'll say version colon three uh, services. And then you're gonna start listing out your different containers. Uh, first one, uh, like I said, it's gonna be Portainer. Uh, and the container name, I'm just gonna go ahead and give it the same name, Portainer. The image, that's going to be the uh, image of our uh, Docker hub for Portainer. So it's Portainer slash Portainer. Volumes. So we're going to have two volumes. The first one is a uh, persistent storage that we set up. Uh, so we'll say uh, Portainer underscore data colon slash data. And as you can see, this whole setup is similar to what we would do in a Docker run command. And uh, if you're creating a Docker volume um, and you don't already have it created, that's okay. It will create one for you. The second volume that we need is uh, to point it at our uh, basically Docker setup so that it has access to it. So we'll do a slash var slash run slash docker dot sock 
colon slash var slash run slash docker dot sock. Uh, restart, we will set to always. And then of course the ports that we use for Portainer are 9,000. So we'll say 9,000 colon 9,000. And since this is a Docker volume, we have to call it out again down below under volumes. So we'll say volumes colon and then list out Portainer underscore data. Uh, once we have that in there, we can go ahead and save it. And now to uh, install and, st and build out that uh, Docker container, we're going to do a sudo docker-compose up-d. As you can see, it will create a volume because uh, that volume is not created yet. And then it will download the portainer image and then, of course, create the container. All right, um, so let's jump over to uh, Portainer, the newly set up Portainer, and just see if it's uh, up and running properly. So uh, we'll access it um, via the uh, host of this uh, system. Colon uh, 9000 is the port. So we'll pull that up. Um, log in, admin. It's going to ask us to create a password, so we'll go ahead and create a, uh, a password for it. Switch over to local and hit connect. And we got one container, of course. Uh, it's uh, viewing itself. So everything looks good. So I think we can move on to the next step. Just want to go ahead and create one more container in here just to kind of show you how it works. Uh, of course, we're going to go ahead and do Home Assistant. So we need to edit our Docker Compose YAML file again. And we're going to move down under the section that we set up for Portainer. Create a second one there. We'll call it Has. Give it a container name will be Has as well. For the image, it'll be home assistant slash home dash assistant. And then of course for the volumes, I'm gonna have two volumes in here. Uh, one will just be where my home assistant configuration will be stored uh, locally on the uh, host machine. And the second one will be uh, point two where let's encrypt certs will be. So we'll do a, uh, let's see, the first volume will be slash home slash adrian slash home underscore assistant colon slash config and the second volume will be slash etsy slash let's encrypt colon slash certs uh, we'll set uh, restart to be always and the network mode i'm going to change it to host we are doing that instead of setting up uh, ports. Once you have that in there, we can go ahead and save it. And of course, we're going to do our sudo docker dash compose up dash d. Give it a second to pull down that image. It's a little bit bigger than Portainer. Then we will jump over to Portainer and uh, check out that uh, newly installed container. As you can see, there's Home Assistant. So let's go ahead and click on that. Scroll down through here, everything looks good. It's been up and running for a little while now. All right, lastly, let's just kind of see what that uh, looks like with Home Assistant. As you can see here, it's asking us to create a user for Home Assistant. So it is obviously up and running on our new, uh, our new system here. 
Go ahead and create a user. Log in with that user. And there is our newly created uh, Home Assistant setup. That's the end of the video, guys. Pretty easy setup. Uh, not a whole lot to do. To me, it's a little bit easier than just using the Docker run commands because um, everything will be stored in a YAML file. So if you need to go back and look at it or make any changes to it, you just uh, go edit it in the YAML file and then just do a uh, Docker compose of command and you are good to go. So let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. We of course installed Docker Compose. Once that was done, we created our Docker Compose at YAML file. Um, once that was done uh, and we had set up our first Docker container, we went ahead and installed Has as our second Docker container. And lastly, we just made sure Has was running correctly uh, with this new setup. That's the end of the video, guys. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. And as always, if there are any videos out there that you'd like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I will see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.